Now, I'm going to be tying uh, a variant of the shipman's buzzer. Basically, it's a hopper. It's a shipman's buzzer with legs and a hackle. So, basically, the shipman's buzzer is just to get foam over the head and over the back uh, with a body wear rib. And uh, whether this is the floating version with the foam, obviously, you can do it with Antron or whatever. Uh, the Shipman's Buzzer is a great fly to have, tied in many sizes, as small as you can go, you can go quite large as well. But the main sizes are between 10s and 14s, uh, tied in most colours with combination, uh, obviously hair's ear, you've got black, red, claret, fiery browns, browns, oranges, you name it, olives are good obviously. All ribbed to suit, uh, but pearl would be the most, most popular ribbon most of the, uh, the colour combinations, so... That's why I'm going to use a pearl rib, but anyway, I'm going to tie a claret version, and it's a hopper. I'm just going to put legs and a wee hackle it just before the, uh, before the foam, and you'll see how it ties. It's quite a simple fly. Now, the thread, I'm just going to use a uni thread in black. You could use the claret thread to suit, but black's fine. So, I'll run the wax through to get it started. Now, is this a size 12? As I say, it's an all purpose medium sized hook, size 12. This one's from Full and Mill. I've got the foam, this is just about 4mm square, just a normal a plastic, a plastic zone. this is from Vineyards. You buy it in a block and you just cut it to suit. Now we tie this over the front. Now a good, don't be shy, just tie it uh, enough that you can trim back and keep things out of the way. I'm just quickly taking this down to the point of the hook. And then I'm going to trim it to the back of the hook, which is there. I'm gonna. It's a rough wee fly, so don't don't be thinking it's the best looking thing in the world. But this works extremely well. I've got a pearl rib, and I'm using a medium sized one. This is the uni pearl, uh, and fourteen, which is a medium sized. I'm just gonna catch this on. Now what I'm gonna do here is just basically tidy up a wee bit. You can tidy up with your dub with the dubbing you're using. I'm using a seals fur, so I'm just gonna take the thread back up. And back down quite quick. There's a claret seals for it. It's quite dark. A dark claret. You can use, pick the colour you like. There's a few clarets I use. This is a leaving claret as I call it. Uh, it's one we did really well in Loch Leaven at one time. So we work our way up. Just lightly dub it on. Now I'm going to take it to just about maybe 2 mil from the foam where we caught it in, take away your dubbing. You can bring my pearl rib up through. Now if you need to protect it a wee bit, what I like to do, you can protect it with a fine rib. Or What works well for me is if the underside here is going to touch the, the body of the fly, I just get a super glue and I run it lightly on the underside. And you're amazed at how that, that works extremely well, it holds and lasts a long time. So we tie this in here. So we three or four turns on. We can then trim away the waist. Hopper legs. I'm just using a natural brown pheasant, cock pheasant tail. I'm looking round, obviously three either side. Try and get the smaller ones. If you're tying your own, make them small. Just count six here. Just bring them 90 degrees from the, the tail and you'll find that you know, these all line up and you can tear it away. Now what I want to do here is put three either side of the body. So come underneath, catch them. So length is up to yourself. So I like to see the legs, don't hide them too far, hide them too much. Just make sure they're tied in. Nice and tight. And then trim this away. Now, a couple of ways you could do this. You could go back to your dubbing and just build up some dubbing around the head and use that to give the impression of the legs. You could put a hackle in. You could use a small natural red in this case, which I'm going to use. And I'm just basically, this is a very small stuff, it's just a Chinese neck. I'm going to catch in with two or three turns. And I'm going to trim away. Uh, the waist, if I can find it. There we are. So we get the hackle pliers here. Oops. Pulled out, so just go back. Just hold it. Go back in. Do 
three. I'm just going to lift the foam, just catch the other the sort of tip of the stem of the feather, come in with two or three turns, and catch that in. A couple of turns more, just to secure, trim away the tip. Now what I'm going to do is just get back to my dubbing here and just finish off with some of the, the seals for. It's a rough looking reef fly I know, uh, but you're no surprise this works extremely well. It's very good in many of the locks and lakes here in the UK. I'm just going to build up some at the back, lift the foam up and draw back the seals for. Just draw it back as you wind. Any fibre going forward. Just hold it, then seeing we've got not much room here to so I get a head in, so I like to varnish the thread just about a centimetre from the area, from the eye, the eye of the hook. Quick finish, just slide it up, just watch don't catch too many fibres. Put your foot map of my nail in the, the eye of the hook and give it a tighten it, and then pull that back and then draw back these fibres. See how things are sitting. And then we can trim our foam at the front. So we just basically, I usually put it to the side and trim. I mean, you can leave it quite long and then trim it on the day uh, to see what suits. If it's a rough, quite a rough day, you can keep this quite long so you can see it. But on average, you're looking much, just slightly longer than the back. So a reasonably a nice straight cut. Take the edge off of this one. There we are. Now, I know it looks a bit unusual, but you'd be surprised how well this fly works. Uh, even if you, you've got to gink it up, obviously, just get your, whatever you use, floating you just rub it on even to the foam. And this will sit nice in the water. You see, the white you can see much easier. If you don't want it to be sort of like too bright like this kind of white, you can slightly darken it with a pen or you can use a coloured foam, it's entirely up to itself. And basically that's the, the shipman's buzzer within the whole lot, with the hopper legs and the hackle. So it's a right mixture, but it's a good it's a good wee pattern. And it will support other flies, you can use it, it can be the top dropper or just in the point. Uh, you can fish it somewhere in the cast, the, the competition anglers know exactly where to fish it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that time. Uh, as I say, it is a bit unusual and different, but if you're into the, the competition angling, this, this is a good part to have in your box. So I hope you enjoyed that.